Hello everyone, welcome to happymed.com. So today, so using Excel, we're gonna find out the outlier. Okay, so please look at these steps here. So identify outlier. So first of all, we need to arrange the data in ascending or uh, assessing order and find Q1 and Q3. And then we need to find the interquartile range. So after find interquartile range, you multiply that by 1.5. And then you subtract the value from the Q1 and then add the value from Q3, then there will be normal range basically. Okay, so we're gonna follow this step and then we also bring out the box plot uh, graph again, and then we can compare our outcome to you. Okay. So uh, we have a minimum, maximum, the quartile one, two, three in the range right here. Okay, so based on this step. We have a Q1 and Q3 already. So let's find out interquartile range. That equal to Q3 minus Q1. Okay. So that will be our IQR value. The next step is we need to multiply IQR multiply 1.5. So that equal to this value multiply. 1.5. So this is our uh, IQ 1.5 value. Okay. And now we can make Q1 minus uh, this. Oops. Q1 minus IQ 1.5, so which equal to Q1 minus so this value, then now Q3 uh, plus so IQR times 1.5, so that equal to Q3. Last this value. Okay. And now, so based on this, now we can determine normal range here. So, normal range equal to basically um, negative 0 0.75, comma 29.35. So we found our normal range so far. So it means uh, among here, any data belongs to this interval, we define as a normal range, normal data set. But uh, out of the interval, then it will be outlier. So as you see among here, and I can see, so 37 is not belongs to this interval. You see that, right? Therefore, now we can say, so 37 is the outlier for this data set, basically. Okay, then I'm going to bring out uh, the box plot graph one, one more time. So when we look at here, so box plot graph, so 37 was out of the box plot here, right? And then I explained it from the previous video because it is the our outlier. So now we even we using this all the step and then uh, find out kind of algebraic way we can also confirm 37 is the outline basically okay yeah so i hope this video help you to understand how to determine the outlier among the data and then i will come back with a different video later okay thank you